Hey y'all, what's up? And welcome back to another video of As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. Now y'all, in this video, I'm actually going to be walking you through my wash day process. I have not done this yet on my channel, so I think it's a really good time to do it now. I actually just finished washing my hair, so the next clips to follow, you will see me in the shower doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on what I do to get my hair squeaky clean and revive my curls back to life. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in the shower so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this wash day. I am just removing my top knot bun. Now, friends, disclaimer, my hair is a little dirty. I have a little bit of dandruff or a lot of it, if you want to say. So I'm just showing you guys how dirty my hair is and why it's important to cleanse your hair. If your hair is thick like mine, you will want to work in sections while shampooing. So you're making sure you are getting down to your scalp and penetrating your hair. So I just pin one half up and out the way and the very first thing I like to do is drench your hair in water. This takes me about one to two minutes before we start to shampoo. I am using the pure aloe vera shampoo from Curl Mix. I really do like this shampoo and if you guys don't know I use the Yuka app to rate all of my hair products before I apply them to my hair to make sure that these are good to go. I cleanse my hair a total of three times. The first round of cleansing I just like to get all that excess dirt and oil up off of my hair my hair takes better to the shampoo and it will lather better on the second round so the next time I do it I'm going to target my scalp this time so you'll see throughout this video that there's not going to be a lot of soap on my hair I like to use a scalp massager on my scalp and this is from the thick hair club if they are still active on their website I will definitely link it below but I did buy this a few years ago and I love this because it's not like I've seen anything like this on the market and I really can go in and target my scalp and attack the dandruff. So that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. I am targeting my scalp and I love that my hair is broken down into sections so I can really focus on each individual section and in trying to get as much dandruff out of my hair as possible. The soap is also very moisturizing as well so it's not like stripping my hair or anything like that. Once I feel as though the scalp massager did its thing, I will go back in with my hands just to make sure I don't feel anything weird and start to rinse it out this is honestly my favorite part is rinsing just look at all that dirt melting away y'all say goodbye to all that buildup and oil as we start to cleanse our hair it's important that you are getting all of the shampoo out of your hair and I do go in a third time but we ain't gonna show that let's move on so for deep conditioning I work in even smaller sections I normally split my hair into about three sections when I'm deep conditioning this is my first time using the split and repair mask from Eden Body Works. I'm so excited because I don't always get to try their products even though this one is a killer. This is super good for you. Look how thick this mask is guys and the difference between a mask and a deep conditioner is the mask is going to help penetrate farther into your hair follicles so definitely try mask once in a blue just to switch it up but whatever I grab or have on hand that's normally what I like to use and just a little tip when the deep conditioner or the mask is too thick I will allow some water to penetrate into my hair to help smooth that mass on in. So here I am just breaking down the next section. You can see there is nothing on my hair but it is fully cleansed versus that back section which does have the mask on there. So I'm just going to take a nice handful. Look how creamy and thick it is. That is the type of mask I go for when I am deep conditioning my hair. I just find that this works best for me. So now we are at the top guys and we're going to use a little bit more on our hair. And again I use water to help work in the mask it's going to create a lot of slip for my hair and most of the natural hair products that I do use work well with water and that's one of the first ingredients that I like to look out for when I'm purchasing or getting sent some hair products so you can see this side is all done all I'm going to do is go ahead and twist it up and out the way and allow that mask to sit while we work on the other side guys so I am going to go ahead and shampoo and deep condition the other side right now all right so we're all finished with that we are going to go ahead and take this 
down. It's been sitting for about 15 minutes and I'm going to show you guys my detangling process. Go ahead and grab your wide tooth comb because you're going to need it. So what I like to do when I'm deep conditioning is I dunk my head under water. This is the best way that I found out for me to deep condition my hair or excuse me to detangle my hair. All I do is start in the front at the bottom and work my way up and towards the back. So you can see my hair is completely saturated underwater and this helps me get done my detangling process literally within two minutes. Let's move on to the leave-in. I'm using the For You Leave-In Curl Cream by Tia and y'all can see that I am struggling to get this cap open. That's because the cap does not come off friend. All you have to do is twist it and it unlocks the product. Now this is my first time experimenting with For You by Tia and I must say that I really enjoyed using this product guys. Just watch how my hair becomes so hydrated and moisturized. Literally the color changes to a deep black or a jet black when I use this product and that's how I know that it's properly moisturized. Now this product is formulated for more lightweight hairstyles but it's okay. It definitely works for me and I just made sure I use water and the product to go ahead and fully saturate my hair. So this is how we are looking friends. My hair is fully saturated. It's clean. It's done. I'm feeling really really good and I still have to go in and detangle the other side which I'm going to do off camera but that is how we get it done y'all so I'm just going to go ahead and twist this up we're going to work on the other side and then I will see you guys back upstairs for styling okay guys I hope that you guys enjoyed the video of what I do now I want to go ahead and show you guys my results I do leave the shower with a microfiber towel this one is by Gemini Naturals I can't find the other one that I normally use so we just had popped that on our head so anytime I am doing a style that requires me to hold moisture into my hair like I'm actually going to do a wash and go after this video I need to make sure that I have as much moisture as possible so I do put a plastic bag on my hair or a shower cap whatever you have laying around the house so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off nice and gently here and then here are my results guys my hair is so soft smells amazing it's nice and clean and it is ready to be styled so I'm again I'm so happy that you guys stuck in there with me watch from start to finish how I clean my hair in the shower I do cleanse my hair once a week some people can do it twice a month some people can do it once a month it is whatever is up to your hair if you feel as though your hair is itching inflamed dirty dandruffy build up whatever the case may be that is good indicators that it's time to wash your hair so without further ado I am going to go ahead and move on to styling if you guys want to see that video it should be up by the time this video comes so I'll have it linked up here for you guys and you guys can watch how I use the rest of the for you by Tia products if you want to see that video so I'm gonna go ahead and do that y'all thank you again for tuning in and watching how I cleanse my natural hair and I'll see you guys in the next one my name is Aaliyah this is as always Aaliyah where we always Please keep it real. I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.